Cow a fucking bunga. That movie was good. That movie was good. It was badass. Man, look. Look, I'm gonna have to settle down before I rank my favorites of the summer, but that movie was bad. It was good. All right, so let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Um, First of all, let me talk about the CGI. The CGI in this movie was incredible to me. It, it was the detail in the turtles was fantastic. It was incredible. From the stitching, the fabric in their masks, to the scales in their skin, the sweat coming off of their skin, incredible. They could have did Splinter just a little bit better, just a little bit better, but I'm not complaining. You get what I'm saying? Um, you're gonna find out as far as our origin story goes, it's similar, but not the same as what we remember. But I think it's similar enough for all the fanboys to actually accept. And you'll find out that April O'Neil actually plays a pinnacle part in who they are. And it's acceptable, I ain't got no problem with that. Let's get Megan Fox out the way. Um, she looks good, she looks great to me. Jeremy Johns calls her sandwiches. I eat her sandwiches, that's how good she looked to me. But we ain't talking about that right now. I think she did a fine job acting. Whoopi Goldberg was funny as hell in it as usual. Whoopi Goldberg's funny. Her uh, her male companion, what's his name? Vernon. Vernon. He was funny as hell, actually. Now, let's get down to the meat of it, because I know y'all want to know exactly how I was acting in the motherfucking theater. I was lost my mind on certain parts, all right? When they introduced Shredder, they introduced him in such a way as to let you know this is the leader of the Foot Clan. This is the power of the Foot Clan. This is the head of the serpent society known as the foot and he's got a deep powerful Japanese voice and accent he's no joke when y'all see how it opens up and shows him you're like okay this is Shredder right here but it's bad as bad as Shredder is Splinter's that much better I'm just gonna let you know this you don't find out how bad Splinter is until him and Shredder meet. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell you one thing. He took on Shredder with one fucking arm and he let you know just what the deal was. I sat up in my fucking seat when I saw Splinter taking on Shredder, okay? <laughs> They're the two baddest motherfuckers in the movie. But let's talk about the turtles. So you got Leonardo, the leader, all right? Doing his thing as usual. He's not really uptight. Like, like they make him sometimes in certain, you know, enactments of the Turtles. Um, Raphael, he's the biggest one. The biggest and the toughest and the strongest. He's big. Mikey's the smallest, um, you know, and you know how Mikey is. He's the most immature. He's actually got a crush on April O'Neil in the movie, making all these different jokes, you know what I mean? Um, Donatello, the brains of the group, and he's much more sophisticated than you might think. I mean, the man has a mainframe set up. He's a he's an absolute genius. Um, it does show you them training as children, their personalities, how they develop. Um, man, I love the movie from beginning to end. And that snow part, that snow scene is like that. That is, you know what I'm saying? Like that's. Just seeing you waiting for, okay? Um, I mean, this damn, I mean, there's the snow scene, there's the fight in their lair, and then there's the end, and you find out just how, you men look, look, they had to be crafty to, to take on Shredder, because Shredder is no joke. He's got that enhanced armor. He is unstoppable. Uh, the man Sax in there, he's kind of like Shredder's right hand man, his man in the in the world over here in the West. He was raised actually by the Shredder, so you'll find out a little bit about that. But I gotta tell y'all, I, I want to give this a fucking A. 
I really want to give it an A. I mean, I enjoyed myself. I was, man, people were clapping at the end of this movie. And I heard that it was getting stellar reviews all over the fucking world. Besides that little thing where they messed up with the September 11th poster and all that. Look, the movie was good. I had a good time. You cared about the characters. They were funny. They were fighting. It was everything you expected. And that elevator scene is funny. Yo, I'm telling you, the movie was great. Splinter is Splinter is shown in a way that I've never seen him before. Before you kind of looked at him as an old, frail man. You, <laughs> you don't look at him like that in this. You don't look at him like that in this. Absolutely fucking fantastic movie. Maybe I'm saying that because I'm a fanboy. Maybe I'm saying that because I grew up on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But I fucking loved it, okay? A. A movie, and I'm buying it on Blu-ray when it comes to fuck out. Because I usually don't buy movies on Blu-ray unless they're great action films. I wouldn't buy a drama on Blu-ray. I don't need extra crisp. Look, But this was great. The 3D was good, too. The 3D was good. I mean, especially in the snow, the snowflakes and anything flying all over. It was good, man. It was good. I loved it. I loved it. The Brothers 4. Heroes in a Half Shell. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. One million subscribers. Woo!